Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Akib and you are watching Pavli. And in this video, I would like to show how you can connect your WordPress website with Pinterest in such a way that you can uh, post something on Pinterest and that same post will be created on your WordPress website also automatically. Okay, so this is how you can drive traffic uh, on your website from Pinterest and you need not to manually copy paste that same data and upload it on Pinterest and then again upload it on WordPress manually. So it will surely save a lot of your time and energy and it will easify your work also. So let me show you how this is going to work. So the flow of this automation is going to look like this here as and when you create a new pin in Pinterest the same pin will be created as a new post in WordPress or WordPress website automatically. Okay. And to make this happen, we are using Pavli connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And guys, the best part of setting up this whole automation is that you will not require any coding skills or programming knowledge. So anyone can set up this automation very easily. So now let's set up this automation together. So guys, the first step to set up this automation is to log in into your Pabli Connect account and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect, just like me here. And to reach here, you can use the link that we have pasted in the description for you from where you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes. And it will provide you 100 free automation tasks for every new month. Okay, so after setting up your account, you can log in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. And here you have to start creating this automation by creating a workflow. So to create a workflow, just click here on this create workflow button. And here you can give any suitable name to your workflow. So let me fill the name here. So I have given the name to this workflow as create WordPress post from Pinterest pins automatically. Okay, now I can click here on this create button and you can see your workflow getting created here like this. Okay, and on this page guys, you will find these two these two things the trigger and the action so this automation is going to work on these two things so the trigger is the happening of that event which is going to trigger this workflow and the action would be the response towards the trigger okay as in our use case the trigger would be a new post a new pin created in pinterest and the action towards that trigger would be to create the same pin as a post in wordpress website okay so first of all you have to click here on this trigger section and from this choose app field, you have to choose your trigger application, which is Pinterest in our case. So select Pinterest from here. And in the trigger event, uh, the event would be a new pin. Okay, then click on connect. And from this window, select add new connection, then click on connect with Pinterest. Okay. And it will bring you to the login window if you are not logged in as I have already logged in in my Pinterest account. So it is just asking me access. So just click on give access and you'll be connected with your Pinterest account in a few moments like this. So we are now connected and here it is asking in which board you are creating the pins. So guys in Pinterest, you have boards to create pins. So let me show you my boards. So these are the three boards I have Pabli, Royal Sun and Sigma. And I'm using this Pabli board to create a pin. So, so I'm selecting Pabli from this list. Okay. And then click on save and send test request and it will, this workflow will fetch the data of the most recently created pin from Pinterest. So the most recently created pin in this board is this one you can see. Okay. So let me click here on save and send test request and let's see uh, how it works. And here you can see this is the response that we have received. And in this uh, response, you can see the date and time of the creation of the pin, the media type and the size of the uh, image. And here is the URL of the image of this size and the same image in different size. And you will find this original URL link also in this or in this label media images original URL. So this is the original size of the image that we have posted in the Pinterest. And let me show you this. Okay. And here you can see this is the uh, photo we have received here in this response. And this is the same picture, which I have created as a pin here in Pinterest. Okay, right. And you will find the title of this uh, pin also new use cases, the description as well. And this is the same 
uh, title in the description you will find here also okay so this is how you can capture the data from Pinterest now I want to uh, create uh, this same pen as a post on my WordPress websites which I have created here okay this is a WordPress website I have created it's, a, it's, a, it's just a demo page I have created just to show you the example you can customize the website according to yourself okay so uh, for creating a post in WordPress page you need to uh, connect WordPress here in the sections tab okay so from the sections tab choose your action application now which is WordPress select it okay and here in this action event select this create a post option then click on connect and from this window select add new connection and here it will ask for the WordPress username and the WordPress password and the base URL as well so so you need to enter the username of your WordPress here and the password okay and here, here in this base URL field you have to enter the base URL which will uh, look like this so uh, when you open your uh, dashboard of WordPress in the search bar you can see this is the URL and you have to copy this URL uh, like this here it is given as the example so you do not have to include the HT, the leading HTTPS thing and you also do not have to include this WP admin or WP login dot, dot PHP thing okay so you just have to copy this uh, from here up to here only okay and you have to paste it here like this right and let me enter these two things also so I have entered the username and the password details and the base URL as well now I am clicking on save and you can see I am connected with WordPress right now it is asking for the post content the post title the excerpt the status the category and the text so here I am going to map the data that I have received from Pinterest okay so uh, here in this post content I am going to map the title of my Pinterest pin which is this so to map this label here you just have to click here on this post content and you will find this Pinterest new pin option in the drop down and when you click on it you will get the all the data that you have received from the first time so from here I'm going to map this title label here okay sorry the title should be in the second label here this is the title and here in the content I'm going to uh, map the description which you will find here like this okay and, and here in this post content only I am going to map the image that we have received from the Pinterest as well so here I am going to use this label which is the original URL label so you'll find the original URL label here map it okay right and I'm leaving this excerpt blank here and, and I'm make, making you can select the status of this post as the draft or pending so if you have anyone who is going to review this post you can make it as a draft or you can schedule it in future you can make it private or anything you want so right now I'm publishing uh, publishing it directly I'm making it publish and you can select the categories if you do not have any category you can leave it blank okay you can put a tag also okay so these are the available options so right now I'm leaving these things blank uh, now you can check your connection with save and, uh, with WordPress by clicking on save and send test request and a new post will be created here on your page okay on your website so I'm clicking on save and send test request and let's see what happens and here you can see uh, let me sh show you in WordPress if we got a new post so I'm refreshing my website's page here and here you can see a new post is created with this title new use cases let me open this post for you and here you will find this image attached which is the same image that we got from the Pinterest which was this and the title was the same and the description was the same so this is how you can connect them both and uh, automate the process of posting data in both of these things okay right so we are done setting up this automation let me give you a quick recap what I have done here so first of all in the trigger I connected Pinterest and captured the data of a most recently created pin and after that in the section step I connected WordPress and map the data that you have received from the first step so when you map the data like this what will happen in real time whenever you post anything on Pinterest 
the same post will be published as a post in WordPress automatically. Okay, so you have to set up this automation only once. After that, you don't even have to look at this workflow. After that, it will run automatically. Okay, and guys, the best part is you can use this same workflow that I've just created because I'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free Pavli Connect account and start running this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.